everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now, let's have a look through our cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Ooh, look at that. All that spinning around. All the colours and the patterns. It's so pretty. Oh, can you see it? Yes, look. It's a dump truck. All right, mate. It's Diggory the dump truck. Oh, look what Diggory's doing. I think he's trying to do, oh, yoga. I think he's trying to do rock and roll pose. Oh, well done, Diggory. Oh, my word, this is wonderful. Today, we're off to meet Diggory the dump truck, who is, in fact, a toy dump truck. So we need to go find him in the toy box. Let's come into our toy box pose. Joining the soles of your feet together, take your knees out wide and hold on to your feet. Now lower your head down towards your toes. Now we open up the lid of the toy box by lifting up our head. Ready? And inside, there's Diggory, the dump truck. Taking your legs out long, everyone. Let's do our bumpy dump truck pose. Holding onto your steering wheel, we go backwards with a beep, 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 beep. We go forwards with a <laughs> We go over one way with a And we go over the other way with a Then we sit up tall like Diggory and we pull the horn. Toot, toot! Now, in the toy box living with Diggory are his other toy friends. There's Derek, the Diplodocus dinosaur. Coming into your dinosaur pose, everyone. Standing up, take your feet wide and slowly folding forwards, taking hold of your ankles. Now, lifting up your feet as you go clump, 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 like a dinosaur, rolling all the way up to stand. Now, Derek, being a Diplodocus has a very, very long tail. Turn yourself to the side and bring your hands either side of your front foot. Stretch your back leg out behind you, coming into a lunge pose, showing how long your tail is. Very good. Now he also has a very long neck, so make your legs as strong as they can go and then see if you can lift your fingers, bring them to your heart and reach on up, making your Diplodocus neck. Wow! Amazing, everyone! Also in the toy box is Doris, the giant cuddly donut. Mm. She's a ring shape, so let's do that. Coming down onto your tummies, everyone. Bring your feet towards your bottom and reach around to grab your ankles. Now lift yourself up, coming into your donut shape. Hello, I'm Doris. I'm pink and I've got lots of extra sprinkles. <laughs> We lower ourselves down. Now also in the toy box is Dixie, the donkey. So let's do a couple of donkey kicks. Coming up onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes and lift your bottom to the sky. Now walk one of your feet in and make your arms as straight as they can go. We're going to do a little kickety kick in the air. Ready? One, two, three, kickety kickety kick. And again, one, two, three, kickety kickety kick. Well done everyone, sitting up tall. Now, all of the toys belong to a little girl called Dana, who loves playing with them. She gets them out of the toy box every day. Taking your legs out long, stretching your arms wide, Dana twists one way to get out Diggory, the dump truck, and Derek, the dinosaur. Then she stretches her arms wide again and twists the other way to get out Doris, the donut, mm. and Dixie, the donkey. And coming back to centre, 
Now, Dana loves making up adventures for them all to act out, where usually Diggory, the dump truck, is the hero, coming into your dump truck hero pose. Up onto your knees, everyone. Now, bring your hands forwards, take your feet wide, and snuggle your bottom down between your ankles, sitting up nice and tall. Now, if you're comfortable there, you can stay there. But if this is a bit ouchy on your knees, bring your hands forward again, lift your bottom up, bring your heels back under and sit yourself back. Now, crisscross your fingers, turn them inside out and lift them up above your head, coming into your hero pose. And being Diggory the dump truck, let's pull the horn. Toot toots! Everything was wonderful apart from the day when Dana and her family decided to get a dog. Dotty the dog. Coming into dog pose. Onto your hands and knees, everyone. Tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky. And let's do a little woof like Dotty. Woof, 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 woof. Now, Dotty really liked Dana's room because it was full of lovely toys. Sitting down on your knees. One day, Dana had been in a bit of a hurry tidying them away and she left poor Derek the dinosaur lying on his back in the middle of the room. Coming to lie on your backs, everyone, bend your knees in towards your armpits and hold on to the soles of your feet. Help! I've been left out of the toy box! But it was too late because Dotty the dog came wandering past, coming into your dog pose, sitting up onto your hands and your knees and tuck your toes, press your hips up to the sky. Dotty sees Derek and thinks, oh, I think I'll go have a look. And she comes into her puppy pose to give him a smell. Down onto your knees, everyone. Walk your hands forwards a little bit and lower your chest and your nose to give Derek a little sniff. <laughs> Mmm, chewy saurus. Then Dotty gets into a position that's very comfortable, lying on her tummy with her legs out behind her. She clasps Derek between her paws and then she begins to nibble and nibble and nibble and nibble until poor Derek's tail is no longer there. All he's got is a stump. Ah! Luckily, at that moment, Dottie has called for dinner. Oh, otherwise, Derek would have been her dinner. Coming up to sit, hugging your knees, Derek huddles himself up. <laughs> He's terrified. What if she comes back and she finishes me off? <laughs> Diggory the dump truck bumps over, taking your legs out long, and let's bump. <laughs> he toot toots when he gets there. Toot toots! And he sees the problem. Oh my, oh my! Derek, what's that Dotty the dog done to your tail? Dixie the donkey does a donkey kick in shock. Coming into your donkey kick pose, everyone. Onto your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes, lift your bottom. Step one leg forward and let's do a kickety kick. Ready? Kickety kickety kick. And again, one, two, three. Kickety kickety kick. Well done, everyone. And poor Doris the mm. donut is in shock. Coming onto your bellies, everyone. Bring your feet towards your bottom. Reach round, grab your ankles and lift yourself up. I know, I know, I'm going to be next. I'm a donut. Ah! They sit up. They need to think and come up with a plan. Diggory has an idea. I know, Derek. I think we've got to make you look as scary and massive as a dragon. And he does dragon pose to show us what he means. Coming onto one knee, everyone, stepping your foot forward. Now crisscross your thumbs and reach them up above your head, wiggling your fingers. Now stick out your tongue like you're breathing fire like a dragon. <laughs> Oh, very scary. This way, she'll never come in here again. She'll leave Derek alone. Sitting back on your heels, they get to work making Derek look as big and scary as possible. First, Derek lies on his tummy, coming down to lie on your bellies, everyone. Your hands under your shoulders, and Derek wiggles his little snake-like head into the middle of Doris the Donut. 
So now he's got a ginormous pink and green head with extra sprinkles. He's as wide as a star. Coming up to stand in star pose, taking your feet wide and your arms wide, except he's a bit wobbly because he hasn't got a tail. Then they practice doing their scariest dragon face with a lion pose. Coming down onto your knees, everyone. And after three, let's do a big sticky outy tongue lion pose. Here we go. One, two, three. Rawr! Wow, well done, everyone. Next, Derek and Doris get on top of Dixie the donkey like they're riding a horse. Coming into our horse pose. Onto one knee, step one foot forwards. Now bring your hands to your heart and tuck your back toes. We're going to reach our arms up high and then rock forwards and backwards going. Fantastic. Finally, Diggory the dump truck lowers his tipper like a ramp so they can all climb on board. Coming into your ramp pose, down onto two knees, hands forward, now stretch one foot back and the other foot back, coming into a nice strong planky ramp. Yes, they walk their feet forwards on board Diggory the dump truck and they roll up to stand and they all pull the horn. Toot, toots. Now they're ready. Derek is enormous. He's massive. He's got the hugest head ever. But they need to make it dark. So they draw the curtains. Folding yourself halfway forwards, stretch your arms out wide and sweep them closed to close the curtain. Shh. Standing all the way up. They come to stand in front of the door of the bedroom like mountains. Strong and still, totally immovable, ready for Dotty whenever she comes in. The door opens, coming into door pose. Down onto your knees, everyone. Take your leg to the side, your arm to the sky, and let's open the door with a creak. It's Dotty the dog. Let's come into our dog pose, onto your hands and your knees. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up to the sky. <laughs> hmm, now let me see. Where's that dinosaur? I'm going to finish him for my tea. And this is the moment. Walking your, forward, your feet forwards, everyone. Rolling up to stand. Diggory gets into action and toot toots. Toot toots. Standing with your feet wide and your arms wide, he switches on his spinning siren lights. Let's make our siren sound, everyone. <laughs> then he does his warning sound. Warning, 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 warning. Dixie the donkey, donkey kicks Derek and Doris into the air. Coming into your donkey kicks pose. Onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift your bottom up, step one foot forward, and let's do a little kickety up. Here we go. Kickety, kickety kick, and again. Kickety, kickety kick, well done. And coming onto your knees, because Derek and Doris do the biggest, scariest dragon lion face they can. Ready, after three, one. Two, three. <laughs> Dotty the dog is terrified of the dragon dump truck monster with the donut head and the kicking legs that she dog runs out of there. Let's come into our dog run pose. Bringing your hands down, tuck your toes, lift your bottom up. Now, let's keep our hands planted as we run with our legs. Ready? Run! Queen! Coming down onto your knees, everybody. Derek is delighted. And he takes his little arms out wide and he gives his friends, after pulling his head out of Doris, a great big hug. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Later that evening, Dana opens her toy box. Let's come into our toy box pose. Sitting on your bottoms, bring the soles of your feet together, holding onto your feet and bringing your head down towards them to close the lid. Now lifting your head up to open it. Ready? One, two, three. She sees Derek 
and his tail. Oh, Derek, what's happened to your tail? Oh, Dotty. So poor Dana, she knows what's happened. She gets to work with her Play-Doh, rubbing it and rubbing it, making it into lots and lots of different coloured Diplodocus tails. Derek's so happy because now he's got lots of replacement tails and a different colour for every day of the week. Oh, with those lovely warm hands now, everyone, cut them over your eyes and let your eyes rest in that warm, lovely space. Ah, we lower our hands down and we feel ready for a little bit of a rest. So we stretch ourselves all the way long across the floor with our arms down by our sides, our legs flopping out to the side. And we take a few moments just to be here, to be peaceful and calm. Ah, we think about that story. Diggory the dump truck, Derek the dinosaur, Doris the donut and Dixie the donkey, Naughty Dotty the dog and Dana, all the Ds. But what we learnt was that teamwork will win through in the end. When we work together, our problems are halved. So we must always support our friends when they need help. And you must always tell someone if you can't figure something out. Because together, you'll be able to solve any problem. Slowly, we wiggle our fingers, we wiggle our toes. We bring our knees into our chest and we give them a hug. We roll over onto our side and we open up our eyes, coming up to sit with our legs crossed. We bring our hands to our heart and we finish our adventure just as we started it with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, well done, everyone. Thanks for doing Diggory the Dump Trucks adventure with me. You are awesome. I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Don't forget to join me on Saturday morning for Saturday morning yoga. Get everyone at home together and enjoy some family time. Remember, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss one. I'll see you Saturday. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves that I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed and bringing our hands together at our hearts to say the secret yoga code word. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today, we want to find out what our story is about, so we look through our cosminoculars. We bring our thumbs and fingers together and we have a look through. Oh, look at that! Wow! All those pretty colours! Isn't it lovely? All those shapes! Can you see the picture? What is it? It's a... Metal detective! It's Marv, the metal detective! He's a robot! <laughs> What's he doing? He's doing yoga! He's doing house pose! This is very exciting! We're going on an adventure with Marv, the metal detective! Let's start our adventure today, lying in our beds. We lie all the way down, like we've just woken up from a lovely night's sleep. <sighs> oh. 
we stretch our arms long and our legs long like a long piece of spaghetti and we roll over oh, and we get out of our beds. Wow! Let's lean forwards and open up the curtains. We bend forwards, reach to the curtains and open them wide. What a beautiful sunny day. Let's open the window. We bend forwards to lift the window up. And we say, hello sun, hello sun. Time to get dressed. Now we need to put our socks on. Hmm. Let's lift up one leg, trying not to wobble, and put on one sock. Whoop, whoop. And let's do the other one. Oh, trying not to wobble. Let's put that one on too. Whoop. Well done, everyone. Then we go down the stairs. Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. What's that noise? We rub our ears. We can hear something. It's coming from the cupboard underneath the stairs. Let's go and open the cupboard door. Coming down to your knees, take your leg out to the side and lift your arm to the sky and open up the cupboard door, going... Oop. Out flies! Beep, beep, metal, metal! It's Marv, the metal detective! We close the cupboard door, bringing two knees together again. Extend your other leg out to the other side. Lift and reach your arm up and close the door. Ooh. How exciting! Marv, the metal detective! He's obviously been switched on. Beep, beep, metal, metal! And he's ready to go and find some metals. We give our mummies and daddies a great big hug goodbye. Reach your arms wide and give them a big cuddle. Lovely! Then we get our bicycles out. Lying on our backs, we crisscross our fingers behind our heads and lift up our legs to pedal. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, we know. Our bike is made of metal. Mm -hmm. We cycle along. Oh, we go. This is fun. I wonder where our day will take us. Marv the metal detective hovers beside us. This is great fun. We cycle over a bridge. Sitting all the way up, bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind you and lift yourself up, making a bridge shape. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, the bridge is made of metal. That's right. Sitting on your bottoms, along the road are lots of cars and buses. <laughs> beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, the cars and the buses are also made of metal. We decide to have a little rest in the park. Ah, the fresh air. <sighs> Along comes a gold-coloured butterfly. Bring the soles of your feet together and flutter your butterfly wings. The gold-coloured butterfly lands on Marv's nose. <laughs> beep, beep. Metal, metal. No, Marv. Let's look at that butterfly's wings. One, two, three. Gold. Gold coloured. Let's look at the other wing. One, two, three. Gold. Gold coloured. Let's look under both wings. One, two, three. Gold. But this is a gold coloured butterfly, not a gold metal butterfly. Never mind, Marv. In the pond in the park are lots of silver fish. Extend your legs long and come down onto your elbows. Pop, pop, pop your chest to the sky and look all the way back behind you like a little silver fish. Beep, beep, metal, metal. No, Marv. They're not really silver. They're just silver-coloured fish. Oh! In the park, there is a statue. A statue that's made of something called bronze. Bronze is a metal. And the statue is of a lion roaring. Coming to two knees. After three, let's do a big lion roar. One, two, three. Roar! But this is just a statue made of metal, bronze metal. 
Marv goes straight up to it and says, Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, you're right. It is metal. So how do we tell things are metal? Hmm. We start by going like this on them. <sighs> then we give them a rub. <laughs> and it goes all shiny. Yes. Then we touch it with our hands. <gasps> It feels very, very cold. And what if we knock it? Oh, yes, it makes a very hard sound and feels very hard on our hands. Hmm, that's how we tell it's metal. Time to go back on our bicycles. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, we know that our bicycles are metal. <laughs> Let's get on. We crisscross our fingers behind our backs and we start to pedal again. We're going to the train station to catch a train. Yay! Here we are. We stand up and we wait on the platform with Marv the metal detective for the train to come. It arrives on the platform. Oop, oop. Marv goes, beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, the train is made of steel. Steel is metal as well. On we go, on our train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, here we go around the track. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go. Faster and faster and faster we go. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go until we're going very slow. Pull the horn. Boop. We've arrived at the beach. <gasps> and Marv the metal detective, he zooms straight to a tree. Bringing one foot on top of the other, your hands together at your heart, and grow up tall. Marv goes, beep, beep, metal, metal. Marv, are you sure that tree is made out of metal? Hmm? We try our tree on the other side. Bringing your other foot on top now and your hands together, grow your tree up tall. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Something is definitely troubling Marv about this tree. Perhaps it's not the tree. It must be something that's hidden beneath the tree. We start to dig. <laughs> Taking your hands behind you, crisscross your fingers and bend all the way forward as you say, Dig! And up, and again. Dig! And again. Dig! We dig a great big hole underneath the tree where we find a treasure chest. Oh, sitting on our bottoms, bring the soles of your feet together. This treasure chest is closed, so bow all the way forwards, closing it up. Beep, beep, metal, metal. We need to open this treasure chest. Marv knows there is some metal inside it, but we need a key, a metal key. And who is really good at finding metal? Yes, Marv, the metal detective. He zooms up and down the beach. Zoom, 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 zoom. And he stops in the middle and says, beep, beep, metal, metal. We go and dig right in the spot where Marv has stopped. Turning around, crisscross your fingers and dig. 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 Last time, dig. And there it is, a tiny little key. Eek. Let's go and see if it opens up the treasure chest. Sitting on our bottoms again, soles of your feet together. Let's see if the treasure chest opens. Ready? <gasps> it opened. And inside, beep, beep, metal, metal. There's lots and lots of money. Coins, gold coins, silver coins, bronze coins, all these coins. We should share this treasure because it's good to share things. Let's go. We get back on our bicycles again. Beep, beep, metal, metal. Yes, Marv, we know that our bikes are made of metal. Let's get on. We lie back, we put our hands behind our heads and we cycle. We cycle and we go round a corner and round another corner. Up a long hill 
and down one really fast. Yay! When we get home, our mummies and daddies help us and Marv the Metal Detective share the treasure. Some of it goes to the museum, so loads of people can see it. Then the telephone rings. Take your legs out long. Ring, 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 ring. Let's answer it. Hello there, how can I help you? <gasps> it's the museum. They're saying thank you for sharing the treasure. Yes, that's fine. No, we're very glad to. Bye-bye. Then the phone rings again. Ring, 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 ring. Let's answer that one. Hello? <gasps> It's the Queen. Oh, hello, Mum. Yes, we did. We found the treasure. We gave it to the museum. You want to give us a gold medal? We're going to Buckingham Palace. Oh, this is so ex... Yes, Mum, sorry. Yes. We'll see you there in a minute. Bye. Marv, the metal detective. And we go to Buckingham Palace. We stand up. <laughs> and we bow to receive our gold medal. As Marv stands up, he says, Beep, beep, metal, metal! Yes, he's got a gold medal! It's metal! Wow, what a day this has been. We've learned so much about so many different metals. Oh, but we're feeling quite tired now, especially after our trip to Buckingham Palace. So we lie ourselves down and have a little rest. Lying back, ah, we take some moments to relax our bodies. And we switch our friend Marv the Metal Detective off so that he can have a little rest as well. Wow, we've learnt so much. There are so many different metals in the world. Some metals are made from valuable things like gold and silver. And there are other metals that are everyday metals all around us. Like knives and forks, pots and pans for cooking, door handles, gates, keys and coins, money. Then there's other things like cars and buses and trains and tools, like hammers and screwdrivers and spades. All those different metals. And with Marv the Metal Detective, our friend, our robot friend, we can go and discover them all. What fun! It's time to wake up now. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. Give our knees a big cuddle. <clears throat> we roll over onto our sides and come up to sitting with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts, just like we started. And we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming on the Metal Detective story with me. Marv was brilliant and so were you. I hope you enjoyed it and come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>: Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin by crossing our legs, sitting down on our bottoms and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we're going off 100 years into the future to meet a very special dog called Sparks24. He's a robo-dog. A dog that's a robot.
So we're going in a time machine. Coming up onto your knees and stick your leg out to the side. Lift your arm up to the air and let's open up the back door. Ooh. Bring your knees back together again. Stick your leg out to the other side. Now lift your other arm up and close the door behind you. Ooh. Wow. Our time machine is a big, round bubble. Cross your legs and blow your bubble up. I think that'll be big enough. Let's crawl inside. We come onto all fours and we reach in with one arm, two arms, one leg, two legs. There. We sit up nice and tall, we lean forward and we twiddle all of the lights and beepers. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Setting the time for a hundred years in the future. We're ready for takeoff. Bend your knees, hands behind your bottom, and let's lift our hips as we count down from five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Up we go everyone, legs up in the air, we're rocking, we're rolling, we're rocking and we're rolling and then we go very still and we go from the side to the other side as we zoom through time forwards by 100 years, we're coming in to land, coming onto your knees everyone and tucking up into a tiny little ball. We sit up and stretch. Wow, it's bright out here. We need to put on our eye protectors. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, pop them over your eyes. That's better. But what's that funny whirring sound? Cross your legs, bring your hands together and close your eyes and go um. We open up our eyes and we see it's Sparks 24, the Robo Dog. Hands down, feet down, and woof, 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 woof. Sparks 24 does a big spin. <laughs> he comes down onto his back paws and stretches out his front paws with a really big happy pant. <laughs> He's got two tails. Coming up onto all fours, he lifts up one tail and gives it a wag with a little pant. <laughs> then he puts that one down and lifts up the other one and pants again. <laughs> He's very happy to see us. He's got a green television screen on his tummy. Now rubbing a hand around on your tummy, can you pat your head at the same time? <gasps> yes, you can! Sparks24 says, when my tummy turns from green to red, it means that some part of my body has switched off. I need your help to help me switch myself back on again. You will hear a funny noise. Well, great. Now we know that, we can get on and explore the future. We get into a flying car. Put your legs out nice and wide. Wow, it's so cool as we flip over one side and then we flip over the other side. We go all the way back up a hill. Whee! And down a hill. Wow, what a fun flying car but we haven't seen much of the city. We get out and we look around. Wow, there are so many tall buildings. Jump your feet wide, bring your hands up above your head. They've got very pointy glass roofs. Wow, there are also lots of rivers in this city with lovely little bridges. Sitting on your bottom, put your hands behind your bottom and lift yourself up. We look in the water and we see there are lots of fish and they all have lights on their heads. Point your toes down, come down onto your elbows and pop, pop, pop your chest up and look all the way up and behind you. Wow, what amazing fish. All of a sudden though, we hear a funny noise. Oh no, Sparse 24's tummy has turned from green to red. Some part of him has switched off. Let's do the check. Sitting on our bottoms, we check his back paws, lift them up, Yes, they still go side to side. What about his front paws? Yes, 
they still go side to side. What about his eyes? Cross your legs, stick your thumb out. Now without moving your head, see if you can follow your thumb with your eyes. Up, down, side, side. Yes, they still work. Maybe it's his shoulders. Can we lift up one shoulder, two shoulders, drop the first shoulder and the second shoulder. Going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, yes, you can, wonderful. His shoulders are fine. Maybe it's his ears. Coming onto all fours, we say, hello, Sparks 24. Oh, we don't hear anything. So it's his ears. Sitting back, give your ears a rub right from the bottom, right the way around to the top to switch them back on again. Sparks 24 can hear again. Woof, woof. He does a little spin. <laughs> Comes down onto his little legs and stretches out his front paws to say thank you. We're feeling quite peckish now and Sparks 24 leads us to the yum yum telephone. Sitting with your legs out long in front of you again, we pick up the receiver and we dial the yum yum telephone number. Yum, 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 Sparks 24 says that we have to ask for what we want and we must say please. Right, oh, hello, um, can I have a strawberry yoghurt, please? Oh, coming right up, thanks. Okay, bye. Great, that's exciting. Now apparently when the other one rings we have to say thank you and that means we get our food in our mouths immediately. Ring, 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 ring. Ready? Hello. Oh, thank you. Oh, mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 what's yummy strawberry yogurt? Oh, I'm feeling quite full now. But then we hear the funny noise again. <laughs> Spots 24's tummy has turned from green to red. Oh no! Let's do the check. Is it his back paws? Sitting back, lift up your feet. <coughs> no, they still work. Maybe it's his front paws. <coughs> They're fine. Maybe it's his ears. It was those before. Coming onto all fours, we say, Hello, Sparks 24. Ruff, ruff. Oh, well, the ears are certainly working. Maybe it's his shoulders going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, 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 up. Wow, that's very clever. Maybe it's his eyes. Stick your thumb out. Let's see if we can follow that thumb with our eyes without moving our heads. Ready? Up. Hmm. Down. Hmm. Side. Hmm. Side. It's his eyes. Let's switch them back on again by doing five slow blinks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Sparks 24 is here again. He does another big spin. <laughs> Comes back down onto his back legs, stretches out his front legs and says a happy robo dog thank you. Sparks24 thinks we should go to the relaxation pods now because we clearly need to recharge our batteries. What a lovely idea! We could do with recharging our batteries as well. So we head to the relaxation pods and plug ourselves in. We lie all the way back onto our backs and put our arms down by our sides. Ah, what a lovely thing to take a few moments and recharge our batteries. Sometimes bits of our bodies can switch themselves off, like our ears. We stop listening. And it's just good to notice when a bit of our body switches off so that we can help it switch back on again, just like we helped Sparks 24. And now we can take this moment of peace and relaxation just to get our bodies feeling really good again. Let's take some lovely deep breaths. Very slowly, 
we start to wiggle our fingers and we wiggle our toes. We stretch our body up really long like spaghetti. Then we bring our knees into our chests and give ourselves a cuddle. We roll over onto our sides and come up to sitting with our legs crossed, just the way we started with our hands together at our hearts. And we finish with our secret magic yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to the future with me, for meeting Sparks24. He loved you. I'll see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Peace out. flop o -meter. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Your place to get real life superpowers that last your whole life. First things first, let's get really comfy. Can you find some space to lie down or sit and spend a moment or so just getting your body feeling totally comfortable. Once you get yourself settled and comfy, you're ready to start. So, are you ready? I think you are. OK then, here we go. You're going to find out how floppy you can make your body. To do that, we have a special flop measuring machine called the flopometer. Can you say that with me? Flopometer. It's a funny sounding word, isn't it? It made me giggle when I first found out about it. The flopometer has five levels of floppiness. And we're going to see if we can make it through all five levels today. For every level you do, you get a gold star chime, like this. So if you do all five levels, you'll get five gold star chimes. Woohoo! Now, if you are super awesome at being floppy and you do make it to level five, let me tell you, you will have reached the top flop spot. What do you think? Are you ready to see if you can do it? I wonder if you'll be able to do all five. Let's try it out and see. We begin at level one. Make yourself as floppy as a robot. Wow, that's not floppy at all, is it? Are you doing it? I'm about as unfloppy as it gets. Everything is super stiff and rigid. Level one complete. Yay, we did it. Well done you. Now, let's go for level two. Make yourself as floppy as a dinosaur. Goodness, still not very floppy. How about you? I feel like I have claws on the ends of my fingers and toes and lots of teeth in my mouth. Level two complete. Good work. Next one, level three. Make yourself as floppy as a sandwich. A sandwich? Well, I suppose sandwiches are more floppy than dinosaurs and robots. Let's try it. It feels a lot less tense, don't you think? But still a bit stiff, so that all the fillings don't fall out of the sandwich. Level three complete. Yes, you did it. 
on to the next one now. Level four. Make yourself as floppy as a teddy. Ah, oh, nice. A teddy. When I think of my teddy, I remember how floppy he is. His arms and his legs and a wobbly head. When I do it with my body, it feels pretty floppy to me. How about you? Level four complete. We're nearly there. This is great. We're doing so well on the flopometer so far. I wonder if we can be any more floppy. Only one way to find out. Let's go for the big one. Level five. Make yourself as floppy as cooked spaghetti. Cool. That's really floppy. I'm making my legs and arms as floppy as can be. In fact, I'm making my body really floppy too, and my face. Let's see if we can stay floppy enough to get our final fifth gold star chime. Yay, we did it! We reached level five. Would you like to score some extra bonus flop points? The best cheat for the extra flop points is to close your eyes. Make yourself like the cooked spaghetti again and just breathe slowly. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And again, in through your nose and out through your mouth. That's it. Well done. Wow, did you hear that? That was the flopometer telling you that you're the new highest scorer. Fantastic. Now you know about the floppiness levels, you can help your mind get super ready for our peace outs. Isn't it amazing how your body can affect your mind? But now you know about the special level of flop, you can use it whenever you need. You did so well with the flopometer, and I hope you found it fun. I did. I hope it helps you too. So the next time you want to think clearly, or enjoy peace out, you know exactly how to relax your body, to open your mind. I look forward to our next time. This is Jamie, saying peace out.